Welcome, everyone, and thanks for joining my guest today, uh, Channel Chief, newly appointed Channel Chief of Comcast Business, Mr. Matt Fosnott. Matt, welcome. Adam, thanks. Thanks for having me. Happy New Year to you. And, and to you as well. I uh, hope you had a wonderful break. I'm excited to be with you. You know, it feels like I've known you for years in your prior role uh, at Comcast Business, and uh, now with you uh, taking the helm of the channel, we've been able to speak a lot more. Uh, I'd love for our audience, especially those who haven't got to know you yet, to hear from you uh, just these last two months as you were doing the handoff, got to know the Comcast team, got to talk to a lot of partners. Um, what were your takeaways? What were your takeaways from observing the channel uh, from this angle? Yeah, no, it's been uh, it's been a whirlwind few few weeks, few months, and uh, I know we met a few weeks ago in, in Salt Lake. Uh, and, we, and so I've been out, met some partners, talked to a lot of partners, um, and, and I think a couple things that jump out to me first and foremost. Um, one, obviously, is Comcast's commitment to the program. Um, you know, I know we'll probably talk about it in in, in a few minutes, but um, so so there's obviously a significant amount of commitment to the to the growth of this program too. My previous role, I was in the enterprise space, and we were providing solutions to you know large Fortune 100 types of of, of clients. And um, I think those types of solutions, the desire to virtualize the uh, the IT environment, those those types of solutions are scaling very very quickly, all the way down you know to the upper end of SMB. And I think it's apparent to me that we have to make sure that we're positioned and we're positioning our partners to excel in that area. I think the third uh, area would be just the depth of the team um, that I'm walking into. Um, a lot of tenure, a lot of tenure in the partner channel, and um, I'm inheriting a really, really strong team. So I'm really excited to uh, to position the team um, as well as as myself, uh, you know, to drive significant growth and innovation in 2024. So let's talk about that a bit. Um, you, you talked first about Comcast commitment to the channel. And of course, whenever there's a change like this, there are questions, you know, of people chattering about, hey, what's going on? Are they pulling back? Uh, do they value the channel? So you said, yes, Comcast values the channel. Probably, probably wouldn't have taken a job as a channel leader if you didn't believe that. But um, what, what are some of the things that you see? What's the evidence of that that you see? Yeah, I think, I think for perspective, um, if you look at the corporation overall, Comcast business is the primary growth vehicle for, or the primary vehicle for growth for Comcast overall. Within Comcast business, the fastest growing business unit is the partner channel. So, you know, if you have a dollar to invest, you're going to invest it in Comcast business and you're going to invest it in the channel. Um, I think that the second piece that really stands out, you know, we just hired 13 IPSMs. We're one to one now from a PSM IPSM perspective. And then, you know, in addition to that, and, and I know we'll probably get into it, but um, we have to go to the enterprise space. Um, but that doesn't mean we're abandoning SMB. In fact, that, you know, almost 80% of our current revenue in the partner channel is SM, Comcast business overall, let alone the partner channel is SMB revenue. So we have to protect and grow that base. So we're, we're standing up a, a uh, retention group right now that's going to be exclusively focused on the partner base of selling that base, uh, renewing that base and protecting that base. So um, those, those are a few things that, you know, that I look at and say, yeah, we're, we're doubling down. Um, we, we need to commit to, to the partner channel so, and, and demonstrate that. First of all, great stats uh, that, that Comcast business is fastest grower within Comcast and within Comcast business, the channel is the fastest growing. Um, I, I want to dive down a little bit on that retention effort. You know, historically, it's been a challenge, quite candidly. I sit on the advisory council. And one of the challenges we've had is Comcast being a big organization. You know, our customers get called into sold additional uh, services and the commission gets pulled and we have to go chase it. And of course, we get tagged back and get paid for it. But uh, that has been a challenge. So what you're saying is there's going to be an actual retention team that is calling out to directly to the channel to upsell, cross-sell, uh, and, and retain those customers for the benefit, that, and the partner's going to benefit from that. That's, that's exactly right. So this is a proactive approach. Um, we, we do this you know, within our divisions and regions, but I don't know if we've ever stood up a team that's focused exclusively on the partner channel. Hmm. So this is a proactive approach. It's to the benefit of the partner. Um, you're always going to have those situations that you mentioned, but I think where this is different, this is really proactive. And, um, and it's exclusive. This team will be exclusive to the partner channel. 
That's great to hear. Um, the other item I wanted to hit on is you talked about enterprise. I know there's been an emphasis on, in fact, you're the perfect person to talk about it. With your previous role in enterprise, direct sales, now you're coming over to the channel. I think you are, one of the reasons you're in your role is the fact that you are so effective at working with the channel uh, on enterprise. How do you see that developing? Yeah, it, I, I appreciate you sharing that because um, some of the biggest wins that I had in my previous role were with the channel. Um, and it was very clear to me. I mean, I, I, I've got channel in my blood. I started in the industry in the channel. There's relationships that the channel has in the enterprise space that we, we don't have or may never have in certain cases. Um, so it was unique to me, one, to see those wins. But I think as a business, Comcast business, we have to pivot. Uh, and, and get more aggressive in the enterprise channel. I, you know, in a previous life, I, I ran the state of Washington for Comcast business. In our footprint, we were nearly 70% penetrated. So when you look at growth, there's not, there's not a huge area to grow. And when you're the growth vehicle for Comcast overall, you have to come up with areas to grow. So if you look at enterprise, and enterprise is a, a large patch. I mean, you're talking kind of upper SMB, mid-market, all the way up to the Fortune 100. Mm -hmm. Um, our penetration rate is single digit. So there's a tremendous opportunity to grow. And we do an outstanding job in the enterprise space providing transport, but I, I think you're seeing it, we're seeing it. Customers want solutions. They, they want solutions. They want to virtualize their environments. So, um, you know, where we've got great expertise as far as delivering transport, we, we have to pivot. And we have to pivot toward the largest opportunity for growth. is, And that area for growth is enterprise. So uh, obviously your background being enterprise sales, um, Comcast business acquires Macergy, huge focus on enterprise partners, the big opportunity there. But wh what about the machine that got us there? I mean, all that SMB business that partners have built up that, you know, still there, you're saturated in the markets. I think you said in your existing market, 70%. Wh what about that business? Yeah, that'll not go away uh, by any means. In fact, it's it's we're going to have to execute flawlessly in SMB. It's very competitive, as you know, all too well in the SMB market space. Hence the reason why we're really trying to protect the partner base and grow that base. Um, in, in addition to that, it's going to be really important that um, as we develop new solutions, um, you know, I think the upper end of SMB is looking for the same type of virtualization solutions that many enterprise customers are. And we have to make sure that we're ready to play in that space. There's a lot of opportunities um, where you've, you've had traditionally SMB type of customers that are, are looking for fiber services. And um, I think we've, we've got to make sure that we continue to execute flawlessly in that space. For perspective, Adam, uh, don't quote me exactly on the number, but I think in excess of, of 75, maybe plus percent of our existing revenue in Comcast business, and I would say probably the channel also, is SMB revenue. Hmm. So we're not walking away from that space at all. It's to continue to grow it. Obviously, it's gonna to be tougher because there's less market share out there, but it's also to grow it, protect it, and uh, and renew it. And um, that's that's the focus for us in SMB. Great. Well, well Matt, I've gotta tell you, great to hear about the focus on the channel, the investment in the channel, uh, also the focus on where a lot of our partners are going, which is up market, uh, but maintaining uh, the the classic business that Comcast has, uh, has has been so successful at. Before we depart, any final words for the audience? Yeah, I think, uh, you know, we're one, um, you know, focus areas for me, we want a team. And that that's up and down through whether it be, you know, SMB mid-market and even the enterprise space, as you know, you, you referenced a few instances where we've had some great wins. So team is definitely going to be a priority. I'd also... Um, just you know, remind the partner channel, we're gonna be doing a road show in first quarter. Um, we're expanding where we're going. We're typically, we've stayed within our footprint. We're going to areas like Phoenix and Los Angeles and upstate New York and play Raleigh, North Carolina, where we haven't been. And, and the partner channel has been. So we're looking to partner uh, and team in those areas really to, to grow top line revenue in those areas. So looking forward to, uh, to starting that initiative and, and making those connections also. Um, and then I would just say, um, you know, looking forward to meeting as many people as I can. Um, we're going to, you know, we're, we're, me and the team, we're here to learn as much as we can. And I think when you talk about innovation, you talk about solutions, the partners are right at the tip of the spear of that. 
Great. Well, Matt, uh, I'm excited to have you at the helm. Uh, it's been a pleasure these last uh, couple months uh, working with you, talking about your vision for the channel. Appreciate you sharing that with us today. Yeah, thank you. I appreciate all your support. All right. That's it, everyone. Thanks so much for joining us. Thank you.